Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the rectifiers. Okay, let's discuss what is rectifier and what are the applications of rectifier and just introduction of the rectifiers we will see here. First we'll see what is rectifier. Rectifier is an electronic circuit which can convert AC into the pulsating DC. It converts AC to pulsating DC that is called as a rectifier. This pulsating DC is nothing but it is a DC plus AC ripples. Okay. This rectifier we can also define as rectifier is an electronic circuit which can convert bidirectional wave to the unidirectional waveform. This is also called as a rectifier. If you see the waveform, this is called as an input AC. So we will give input AC to the rectifier circuit. If you give the input AC here, this is a AC we will get the pulsating DC like this. Okay, if we give the input to the input AC, this waveform input AC to the rectifier, we will get the output is pulsating DC. Okay, in the, in rectifiers, we will not get the pure DC. In the rectifier, we will get the pulsating DC here. That's why in the uh, DC output, we will get the DC plus AC ripples. These are all called as the ripples. If you see the pure DC, the pure DC looks like this. But this pure DC we will not get in the rectifier. In the rectifier we will get the pulsating DC. In the, how we will get the pure DC that we will discuss. But this is called as a pulsating DC. If you see the applications here, this uh, rectifiers we are using in the mobile chargers because in the uh, battery stores energy in the form of DC only. But uh, in the home the supply is AC. To get the DC we should use the rectifiers okay that's why in the mobile charges we use the rectifiers because our mobile phone battery stores energy in the form of dc only if we take the laptop adapter also the laptop battery also stores laptop is having the battery that battery also stores dc okay to get the dc we should use the rectifier because uh, ac cannot uh, the battery stores only dc it cannot store ac if you use the uh, if you take the rps and other electronic devices that take the that requires dc okay regulated power supply that we use in our laboratory okay these are all the devices the devices which requires dc okay in that case we should use rectifier only because without rectifier we cannot convert ac to dc okay that uh, the applications which requires DC, we use rectifiers. Okay, this is about the definition of the rectifiers. Now we'll see the classification of rectifiers here. The rectifiers are classified into two types. Okay, half wave rectifier and the full wave rectifier. Okay, again, these full wave rectifiers are classified into two types, center tapped full wave rectifier and the bridge full wave rectifier. Okay, now, uh, here we will discuss three rectifiers here, half wave rectifier and the center type full wave rectifier and the bridge, recti bridge, bridge full wave rectifier. Okay, in full wave rectifier again there are two types. Okay, center time as well as the bridge full wave rectifier. Okay, now let's see the block diagram of the rectifiers. Okay, if you see the block, di block diagram of the rectifier, here we will give input AC that is 230 volts we will give. Okay, we give 230 volts input to the rectifier circuit. Okay, input is what AC. This is the AC waveform. Okay, it is the AC waveform. Now, if we take uh, the, uh, we will give the AC to the rectifier circuit. Okay, we will give this AC supply 230 volts to the rectifier circuit. Okay, if we give the rectifier uh, in input AC to the rectifier, we will get the pulsating DC here. It converts, rectifier converts AC to the pulsating DC. So how the pulsating DC, this is called as a pulsating DC. It is not the pure DC. Okay, now we will give, we give this pulsating DC to the filters. Okay, if we give the pulsating DC to the filters, okay, what will happen? There are many filters we are having. Okay, inductor filter, capacitor filter, inductor capacitor filter. There are many filters we are having. So, uh, if we give the rectifier pulsating DC to the filters, we will get pulsating DC to the unregulated DC. Here, in un unregulated DC, we will get approximately 95% of the DC we will get. We will not get pure DC if we use the filters. Okay, again, after using the filters, we will give this filter output to the regulators 
we will give the filter output to the regulator. Okay, if we give the filter output to the regulator, in the filter uh, output, the, uh, if we give it to the regulator, this regulator will give unregulated DC to the regulated DC. Okay, here, yeah. if we use the regulator, here we will get 100% DC. Okay, finally, we will get the output is pure DC. This is called as the output. Okay. This is output we will get after this all the stages we will get the pure DC. This is called as a pure DC and this is called as a pulsating DC. This is the input. Okay, here uh, we will discuss about the rectifiers only. Okay, these filters and the regulators we will discuss later. Okay, but in our rectifier syllabus we will discuss only about the rectifiers, not about the filters and the regulators. So this block diagram uh, for this block diagram, see here. We are giving input 230 volts AC. Okay, we are getting the rectifier. Uh, we are giving input to the rectifier. Rectifier converts AC to pulsating DC. We will get the output like this. This output, rectifier output, we will give it to the rect filters. Filter convert pul pulsating DC to the unregulated DC. But here in the filters, we will get only 95% of the DC, not the 100%. To get the 100% DC, we are giving filter output to the regulator input. Okay, this regulator converts unregulated DC to the regulated DC. That is, finally, we will get 100% DC. So, after all the stages, we will get pure DC. This is called as a pure DC. The DC means direct current. Okay, AC means alternating current. Alternating current is converted into finally the direct current here by using the rectifiers, filters and the regulators. Okay, so this is about the today's session. So, now in the next class, we will discuss about the half-wave rectifier, full-wave rectifier and the bridge rectifier.